In the past year in New Orleans, there has been a Jaguar and Zebras on the loose, and now there's a Cheetah uptown. If you don't know Tulane running back Corey Dauphine, you should. Corey Dauphine had a, a, a sensational game. He uh, really did a good job of his vision. And, you know, the big thing for him is when he gets in open space, he's to run as fast as he can because he's got great speed. Against Nichols, Dauphine touched the ball twice in the first half, and both times he scored. The first came on this 38-yard scamper, and then he topped it, going for this 69-yard run, where he weaved himself past almost every player on the Nichols defense. It was 69 yards. I, I guarantee he probably ran at least 100. So uh, he, he'll get in better shape, and we're lucky we got a lot of good backs, so we're, we're going to be able to roll. Fritz said that Dauphine was chomping at the bit to get on the field this year after having to sit out all of last season following a transfer from Texas Tech. The intriguing thing about Dauphine is that he's a sensational track athlete, and every Tulane player will tell you once he gets in the open field, it's over. We scrimmaged in the spring, and he had a breakaway run. And uh, I mean, I took a good angle on him and everything. He wasn't going to catch him. It's crazy. It's open field. Uh, I'll call him quick sits when he gets in the open field because that's just how dynamic he is. You know, in practice, he gets a little crease. He hits it going. It's not too many people in the country can catch him. Dauphine was a 200-meter state champ in Texas. He ran a 20.7 as a senior in high school, which was the fastest time in the nation. But when he decided to leave Texas Tech, it was an easy decision to head to the Crescent City because he has plenty of roots near New Orleans. It didn't really take me long enough to like really get used to New Orleans because my family is um, from around here, from Louisiana area, and so it was really nothing to me. And the way Dauphine played last Saturday, he made it seem like there was really nothing to it either. It was a moment he was waiting a long time for, as were his teammates. You know, I was talking to him about you know making sure you keep your confidence up, your time coming. You've been patient for a whole off season. When you get your chance, do your thing. From Uptown, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports.